Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we are going to be dining at the newest restaurant in Walt Disney World, the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Finally, I'm able to come out, make a video, show you guys all of the food and let you know what I think. And then later on, we're going to be heading down to International Drive and kicking off Megacon Orlando. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some barbecue and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And just like that, we have made it to Hollywood Studios. It is such a beautiful day out. Temperatures in the 80s and I'm excited. I'm excited for a little Hollywood Studios day. Just like I mentioned, after we get done at Hollywood Studios, we're gonna head down and start off Megacon weekend. And I'm so excited because I'm actually gonna be there with Roosevelt and they're selling all exclusive shirts every single day. And on Saturday, I'm gonna make sure I'm at the booth from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So if any of you guys wanna come over and say hi, you can come over and say hi. We're in the 6,000 section. And then this shirt is gonna be the exclusive of that day and it's the Disney 100. Look at this, it's a variant of the original one, but I like this color a little bit better. So if you're at Megacon, come say hi. We'll get to more about Megacon a little bit later on. Right now, I wanna scope out the situation. Looks like Smuggler's Run is 95 minutes. Rise of the Resistance is 70 minutes. Look at this, Smuggler's Run has a longer wait time than Rise of the Resistance. And then, oh, Slinky Dog Dash, 120 minutes. Alien Swirling Saucers, 30. So it looks like it's a little bit of a busy day today. I think we're gonna make our way right down to the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, and I've already been here before. I came on opening day, but I wasn't feeling like myself, and I didn't make a video. I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm gonna end up leaving. So I ended up leaving, and today is my redemption. I'm so excited to actually put together a video for you guys. It was eating me up a little bit because I felt like I disappointed a lot of you, but today I'm gonna make it right. Well, would you look at that? Donald's up on a grassy knoll. And it looks like he's not alone either. Daisy's up there too. Donald, you're looking fantastic. Just wanted to say hi real quick. Keep doing you. I'll see you later, all right? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should have wore one of my Toy Story button-ups, like one of my Woody shirts, but I kind of, I wanted to show you guys this shirt because it's so cool. It's such an exclusive shirt. You're only going to be able to buy it if you come to Megacon on Saturday. It's literally a Saturday Megacon only exclusive, and it's super rare, so I kind of wanted to show it off a little bit. And here it is, the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I really do like the theming. It's kept to all of Toy Story Land, especially with the Christmas lights. I've always said I love coming in here because of the Christmas lights, like Toy Story Land itself. And I like how they have Giddy Up for barbecue. And then over here, there's a snake in my boot. From some of the reviews I have saw already on social media, it looks like there's a good amount of people that don't like it and a good amount of people that love it. So I'm excited to actually dive on in. And this isn't a character dining. This is just a regular family style uh, dining. And there are cool things that happen inside there and I'll show you guys them if I can. And it's gonna be a fun time, a rootin' tootin' fun time. Here is a look at the menu. It is all you care to enjoy, family style. It's $45 for adults, $25 for children. You get a whole bunch of salads. You actually get three different salads. They've got a root and toot and tomato salad, a Rex Romaine, and a Wheezy's watermelon salad. And then you actually get a whole bunch of barbecue, all served in like a big uh, like a platter, you know? They've got Evil Doctor smoked ribs, buttercups beef brisket, there's a sausage in my boots. There's a snake in my boot, which is kind of funny. And then the barbecue chicken with style. And then you also get tons of different sides. They have everything from mean old potato salad to campfire roasted vegetables. And of course the dessert. And we're gonna get it all and we're gonna try it all. $45 a person. Now, if this was a character dining, it would probably be like $69. So you don't want to kind of compare this to character dining per se. You want to kind of like compare this to Whispering Canyon and Trails End, rest in peace. Like I feel like that's kind of what this restaurant is like with the barbecue. So you got to keep that in the back of your mind when you're eating the food and trying to discover whether or not it's worth it. And I can tell you $45 is the most expensive out of all those restaurants.
Hey, howdy, hey, do you have the Nathan Poirot toy set of one? That's me, toy set of one. The restaurant itself has two different dining rooms. They have the Jesse room, which is right here, and then the Bo Peep room, which is like a different color over there. And it's so nifty how they have like Emperor Zerg there. It's, I kind of like the layout in here. It's just like all the other buildings in Toy Story Land. It looks like something Andy put together with cardboard. You can actually see it on the wall. The lighting in here is a little funny, so I'm sorry if it has any effects on the camera. It's purple and it's red and it's pink, but it's very, you know what I mean? It kind of like has that weird effect to it. But I did hear on the intercom, if Surge comes out and says Andy's coming, everybody has to freeze. So that's gonna be something cool to look forward to. One of the things I also want to point out, when it comes to the sides, you have to pick four of them to start, and then you can actually swap them out if you want. So I'm going to see. I mean, I don't want to order a bunch of food I'm not going to eat, so I'm going to try to pick cautiously, but at the same time, I want to eat it all. On the table, they give you three different barbecue sauces, spicy, classic, and sweet. The plates look like paper plates, but they're actually fine china. What, what if that broke? Like, what if I just, <laughs> that would have been funny. And look at, there's actually some barbecue sauces balancing on that beam over there. Something that I appreciate is the fact that they have a different, like, flavored tea here. They have peach tea on the menu. So they have sweet tea and unsweet tea. And this is the only place that I've seen peach tea. So it's not something from, like, a company. I think they actually make it back there. And that's what I'm going with. They do have alcoholic beverages. And I'll show you what those are. But I'm all here for the peach. For the grown-up drinks, they have the grown-up PB&J, the rum on the range, and none of these really stand out for me. If they had a nice old-fashioned, like a cowboy old-fashioned, I would probably be getting it. But instead, I'm going to stick to the, uh, the good old peach tea right here. And the beverages are included with it, so I'm not going to have to pay anything extra, unless I wanted to get something with a little alcohol in it, a little grown-up drink. The salads and biscuits have arrived. I ended up getting a little Arnold Palmer, mixing it with the peach tea. And here we go for salads. Here is Wheezy's watermelon salad. I did have this and I loved it because of the mint on there. And then they've got the root and tootin tomato salad. And then they've got the romaine over here with apples in it. And then biscuits, look at these biscuits. Oh man, this is what I was talking about. These biscuits look so good and it comes with a little jelly on there. And we're gonna dive in. I think we're gonna start with the biscuits. Uh oh. Come in, Mother Earth. We have a yard sale in the forward territory. Yard sale? Yard sale in the forward territory. Yard sale? Guys, guys, hold your horses. There's a yard sale. Slave protocol. You can't it. It's time for the biscuit business, and I'm so excited. I hope they're buttery, flakery, buttery, buttery, flaky biscuit, buttery, flaky crust, if you know what I mean. These biscuits are like the layer type, and I like them a lot. They're not very cheesy, because I'm not a biggest fan of like sharp cheddar cheese, and I don't even taste the cheese in here at all. And this jelly is such a good combination. Gotta get a little of that jelly. And I'm not splitting with anyone, so I can just shove my whole biscuit in there if I wanted to. Why did that sound so funny? I'm gonna shove my whole biscuit in there. <laughs> Those biscuits are so good, and I'm gonna try to not get full on the biscuits because that's what they that's what they try to do. They try to get you to eat the good bread and then forget about the meats, but I'm here for the meats and also the watermelon with a little mint. Wow. The watermelon salad is the best thing for me here. I love watermelon. I mean, the tomato salad's okay, and I'm not the biggest fan of like Caesar dressing, but I do want to get an apple. Have a little apple and a little bit of a watermelon together. I love this watermelon salad though. Look at all the mint on there. But don't eat the don't eat the seeds. They'll grow in your belly. You know, that's what my mom used to tell me. She used to tell me I can't eat the seeds or a watermelon will grow in my belly. Did anybody else get told that if you eat a watermelon seed, a watermelon will grow in your belly when you were growing up? And I believe that. I remember I used to have anxiety when I was eating watermelon. So thanks, mom. Thanks for that. I did exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do, and I ate all the biscuits. I only got a little biscuit crumbs left.
And I can't believe I did that. Coming in Wranglers, Andy is approaching the rodeo. Oh my god, Andy's coming, you guys. Andy is approaching the rodeo. Drop your lassos and assume your positions in three, two, one. <gasps> Where is it? I know I left it around here somewhere. Mom, have you seen my cowboy belt buckle? I can't find it. Never mind. <laughs> that was funny. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> and oh my lord, this bountiful feast is upon me. This is a lot of food. Like just for one single person. This is this is a single person's portion. I know it's all you can eat, but holy moly. This is so much food. Like I'm kind of shocked. There's no way I'm going to be able to put all this down. I got the potato salad right here. Look at that. Look at that mean old potato salad. I got the potato barrels, the corn on the cob. Look at this corn on the cob. Look at that. And then I also got the mixed veggies. And I'm excited because he got some zucchini in there. And just take a look at this. Here's the sausage. Here's the ribs. There's the brisket. Look at all that brisket. We've got the barbecue chicken, the peppers. <laughs> We're gonna dive in. We're just diving in. Like this is a lot for one single person. The last time I was here, I was with a big group of people and they gave me a bigger platter than this one. But like this is just me coming on my own and this is how much food they gave me to start with. Normally I just eat right out of the container, but I'm gonna make myself a plate. I'm gonna grab some of the brisket down here. Good looking brisket right here. Look at that. A nice good blend right there. Gonna grab the sausage, a sausage in my boot. And I like how they have the spiral play on it. Gonna grab me one rib, thank you. Ah, oh, and some baked beans. Baked beans and Bud Light, I like it. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab a chicken leg and uh, maybe some of these veggies. Gonna get the zucchini, that's the way. Oh, some broccoli, some potato burls, tater tots. First things first, let's get to the rib business. Gonna focus in here. Uh oh, something's happening. Better eat my rib. And now, folks, it's my pleasure to introduce the Rockets. Toughest, brighter in the West, to the dino, and give a bit more for the one you've all been waiting for. The one, the only, Harry Soros Ribs are not my favorite ribs, and that's mainly because of this style of ribs. I love baby back ribs, but I do want to give it a little of the barbecue. Might get a little classic. Let's see what that's like. Get a little classic on there. Get a little rub with the rib. Maybe that might do it a little bit better. The barbecue sauce made the ribs a little bit better, but nothing that I'm gonna remember for a lifetime. Now I want to try the chicken. Hmm. I like the chicken, that's very good. The chicken de definitely tastes like there's a lot of good seasoning on there. And I've never had the chicken before, and I'm excited to try the sausage. Look at this though. Do I unravel it, or do I eat it off of the stick? Yeah. Well, look at that. It's like a wind, a wind, <laughs> a wind, a wind, a wind, a wind chime. All right, I'm going in for the sausage wheel here. The sausage is good, not too spicy. Actually, I don't taste any spice at all. And it's probably easier just to take it off like that. Kind of a small sausage. It looks like a breakfast sausage almost. Now it's time to get to the brisket here. The brisket isn't really smoky. Like I'm not tasting much smoke, so I don't know if they smoke the barbecue here. I smoke the meats, you know? I don't think they do that. I mean, it's good. It's a good cut of, of uh, brisket though like look at that and wow they gave me so much brisket there and the ribs uh, mainly just a little bit cartilage but i really do love the chicken i like the sausage i love these vegetables i love the potato barrels i haven't dived into the corn on the cob yet but i think i'll do that now 
The corn on the cob kind of looks like street corn. Tastes like street corn too. The baked beans are plant-based and they actually have jackfruit inside them. And it has like a really distinct taste to them, like a very, like a very special taste to it. Maybe it might be the jackfruit. I am in love with these vegetables and those biscuits. And we'll give a full breakdown once we get outside and I'll be able to explain things a little bit better. It's hard to talk in here, especially when it's a busy restaurant, but I'm gonna keep snacking on these veggies. I had to throw in the towel on the food. It was just way too much, but not before I get dessert. And for dessert, they have a bunch of these little mini cups and they have like uh, strawberry peach, lemon blueberry, an apple pie, and then the chocolate like silk one. So I got the chocolate one. And then also I got the forky cupcake. Look at that. It's just so cute actually. I wonder how that cookie is gonna taste on top there. I'm gonna try the French silk pie or first. Let's give this a go. Ooh. It's like pudding. It's like a little pudding cup. I do like it. It's pretty good. But now I'm coming at you, Mr. Forky. And I think he has a chocolate cupcake at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Cupcake wrappers. My worst enemy. Luckily, we're here for the fork, though. Poor little Forky. It's a dry cookie. Nope, that's how you do it. And then, of course, once you're done with your meal and you're ready to pay, they give you a gigantic pencil to actually sign your bill with. Look at this thing. You're coming home with me. I tried writing Paging Mr. Morrow with the pencil and that's what it came out like. <laughs> all right, we are all finished up with the barbecue. And now I wanna give you a little bit of like a roundup review. A roundup review, I like that. Just, you know, talk about some of my favorite things and some of the things I didn't like so much. Overall, this is a great restaurant with lots of options. Like they give you so many different options in there, so much food. And I think that's very accommodating to families that have picky eaters. And then also for people that are vegetarian, there's a lot of plant-based options. Now, when it comes to the barbecue, it's not the best barbecue in Disney World. Polite Pig is so much better. And the same thing with Regal Eagle. Um, I feel like it's, it's, I like a smoke, like a smoky barbecue, and I don't feel like it's that smoky. I feel like it's more dry rub on there. Um, I love the sausage. I thought the sausage was good. The chicken was definitely a good seasoning. The biscuits, the corn on the cob is actually pretty good. I actually, I like that a lot. The mixed vegetables, I mean, there were several things that I liked from this meal, and there's some things that, you know, it was just like, yeah. I mean, there wasn't anything I hated, though. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't hate anything. Everything was just kind of like, you know, hey. But honestly, for families, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth $45. Now, compare, like, comparing it to other restaurants, like um, Whispering Canyon Cafe, I think Whispering Canyon has better food. And also, Trails End. Trails End had way better food, and they were $32. And, like, the only thing you don't get is, like, it being in a park. And also, I mean, you really don't get anything else because over at Whispering Canyon, there's so much entertainment there so like I don't know it's not the it's not it, you know what I mean it's it, it's not so much and at Hollywood Studios a lot of the restaurants are all like themed based look at sci-fi look at Mama Melrose look at Hollywood and Vine and also 50s prime time a lot of people just go to those places just for the atmosphere the food has never been spectacular at any of those restaurants so this is definitely not the least like it's definitely not the worst restaurant in Hollywood Studios I can say that and that that's kind of how I feel would I come back I would come back I bring my mom and sister here I think they would enjoy it and uh, yeah I mean if you're looking for good barbecue it's it's definitely not the place to go like you know what I mean if you're looking for some good barbecue but if you're looking for a good restaurant at home like a good restaurant at Hollywood Studios then this is a this is a good stop now it's time to keep moving along look at the Sun actually setting right here on slinky dog Day. Wow look at that that's kind of that's kind of beautiful holy moly 
enough of the barbecue business. Let's go ride Slinky Dog Dash. I mean, it's fitting. We're here in Toy Story Land. Might as well eat some Toy Story food and ride some Toy Story Land rides. Oh boy, I'm so excited. The big finale. Oh, look at how cool that little Hidden Mickey is right there. That's actually where the water tower used to be here at MGM Studios. I always like to point out fun facts. Fun facts with Nate. Fun fact, there are tons of different slinky animals. A slinky rabbit, a slinky cat, a slinky frog, even a slinky snake. A little slinky snake. Slinky snake. That sounds like a fun word. I always like riding on Slinky's butt. It's my favorite. I'm always the back. The back, the back is the best for me. Look at it. He's got a little sprinkly tail. The wildest ride in Andy's backyard. Oh my lord. Ah! Oh, it's so beautiful out. <laughs> Hang on! Hang on! Hey, how are you? Oh! Oh! much fun i love slinky dog dash like honestly it's up there i think it's way better than rise of the resistance you know i know that's a hot take right there i would say in hollywood studios tower of terror slinky dog dash and then rise of the resistance for me and i, I just i love it it makes me smile non-stop all right, it's time to make our way out of Hollywood Studios and over to Megacon. And look at this. Look at this beautiful setting they have right here on the Chinese Theater. You can see the shadows of the palm trees in there. Willow, National Treasure. Both uh, two shows on Disney Plus that didn't end up doing as good as they thought they would. And it's kind of sad because I loved Willow. And I didn't even watch any of National Treasure, but I loved the movies. So maybe I might watch that. Let me know if you guys watched Willow and if you thought it was any good. There were plans for a season two, but I think they scrapped it already. It really was an amazing day today at Hollywood Studios. I loved it here so much, and it was the perfect temperature with some breeze. This was great. I hope that the cold weather stays for a little bit longer. And when I mean cold weather, I mean like 70s and 80 degree weather. <laughs> like that's what I mean by cold, because when it's actually in the 90s, it's so hot, it's hard to really enjoy the parks. Time to make our way down to the good old International Drive, my old stomping grounds. And here it is, Megacon Orlando. This is such a beautiful convention center. I always love coming here and uh, it's gonna be a fun day. Today is like a special like soft opening for the VIP members the people that bought the, the the expensive tickets to the con and they get to get in at two o'clock and we're just gonna set it up and get all organized and get ready to go for the whole weekend Here is the official Roosevelt's booth at the Megacon Orlando. I'm so excited Megacon. You got Dustin and Scotty over there 
It's gonna be a fun day. Now I think we're gonna go around and explore a little bit. Wow, this is a real treat. I am a huge National Lampoon's Vacation fan. And look at this, the Griswold's Wagon. Welcome to Wally World. And is that Cousin Eddie's? Uh, it is, look at that. That is so cool. I love all of this. This is just perfect. Oh wow, look, wait. We got the other tree over here. <laughs> this is too perfect. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? And speaking of Clark, look who you can actually meet here. Just looking at this small area, they have Hayden Christensen, they've got James McAvoy, and then they even have Chevy Chase and Rosario Dawson right here. Nobody's in line. I mean, I'm sure they're not coming out for a couple days, but there are so many autograph sections. Look at this. Holy moly. Lots of big name celebrities here, I could tell you. Now, of course, some of these autographs and photo opportunities will cost you hundreds of dollars. I mean, I don't know if there's a price list. If there's a price list, I definitely want to show you guys. Wow, they also have the cast of Daredevil. They have Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Afranio, and then Steve Burns. <laughs> All by himself, right next to the cast of Daredevil. I think that's kind of funny. I found the prices, and they're not that bad. Chevy Chase is $128 for a selfie, just to take a selfie with them. And then Hayden, well, he's $209. $209, that is a lot of money. I don't know if he signs things, or if it's just the photo, or if it's just one or the other, but he is pretty popular. I mean, he is Darth Vader. Wow, look how cool this is. Very nifty. Me? You? <laughs> wow. Oh wait, there's a lot more down there. It actually looks like the Mandalorian is inside there and they're doing photos. Look at that. This has definitely got to win best uh, booth. <laughs> like I don't even know if you call it a booth. This is just the best area here at uh, Megacon. We're not going to be showing a lot of Megacon tonight because it's only Thursday. And like I said, I'm going to be meeting up here Saturday from 2 to 4. So I plan on making a video that day and I'm going to be able to go over everything. But tonight I just want to get comfortable. The booth is just open and I figured I'd bring you guys along. It's really cool being able to see this basically without anyone in it. You know, before all the crowds of people show up. And with that, we are done here today. Like I said, I wasn't going to show much of Megacon, but uh, don't forget Saturday from 2 to 4, I'll be there. The Roosevelt's booth, I think it's aisle 6,000. If you're in the area want to come say hi, come say hi. But uh, yeah, I'll be making a video, and uh, today was a success. I loved the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, and it was nice to come and start Megacon up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed making the video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Before we call it a night, we have to visit little Gracie here. The little princess. Yes. You got your ball right here? <gasps> What's that? Yep. Look at that butt. Look at how excited she gets. She knows what I'm talking about her. Oh, now you're going to be shy. Oh, oh. See? You're adorable. I love you. Okay. That's all.